What's up guys, on this episode of Inspiration Nation, we're gonna be bringing you our first channel build, and that is a 1977 Camaro, AKA the Orange Monster. We're gonna be doing an LS2 T56 swap on it. It's a factory four speed car, so we'll be hitting the hydraulic clutch conversion. We'll be dropping it in with the Holley Terminator X Max. And we'll give you our honest opinion on that when it's all said and done at the very end of the project. So stay tuned. Well, the story about the 2007 Caddy was, it was my cool daddy car, my daily driver. And I uh, had a lady that decided to be on her phone eating a cup of noodles and ran a stop sign, four-way stop. And I uh, totaled her out. So after a fight with the insurance company, we got her back. Now, heart transplant. I've got my hand crammed down in a tiny crevice unhooking an oil cooler because I think we can salvage it. Now we're being a little bit more aggressive with this one because obviously it's a total lost car. Now if you're looking to pull your 2007 Caddy engine out and you still want to save your car, you might want to be a little bit more gentle. But we're basically throwing the bolts in a bucket and uh, rolling with it. I'm I'm pretty excited about this. I can't wait to get 400 reliable horsepower in the Orange Monster. doing your fuel line go to the auto parts store grab you some of these nifty things I think they were like 12 bucks and you'll just simply clap them over your fuel line and sometimes they can be a pain sometimes they can't it's always kind of a gamble. Now we're having to undo the short extension to the fuel rail here um, so we can get the wiring off the injectors so we can try to leave the harness in the car you could probably go through and pull the harness out with the motor. We may end up doing that. We're trying to get as much done on top. So when we go underneath, we're not gonna be up, down, up, down, up, down. Can you undo the, the, the O2 sensor there? Pull it, don't pull it. So the problem I'm running into is I don't think the engine will come out without undoing the Cadillac converter because it's pretty wide and really close to the frame rail. So we're gonna try our best to get these old rusty bolts out. And if not, my friend the Sawzall comes back to play. Safety first. Manifold. Yeah. Well, we're trying to get to the top drive shaft bolt. And gonna have to look in and see what type of U joint, rag joint, whatever I'm gonna need for a 
right here for when it goes in the Camaro. Try to pull the power steering pump off so that we can hook to the engine with our hoist uh, and pull it out. step is we're going to get the engine cleaned up, address any leaks or any little modifications that we may need to do to it for it to go into the Orange Monster. Once the engine is completely clean and ready, then we're going to pull the small block out of there, clean and pressure wash everything, and then we'll put a nice coat of paint on the engine bay. So you guys need to stay tuned for this whole build. Now when you get your LS engine out, great thing to do will be some kind of penetrating oil to spray all of your exhaust manifold bolts. And if you can let them sit for a few days and come out in the shop and nuke them each time, you will not stand as big a chance of breaking a stud. These engines are notorious for breaking exhaust studs. This engine already has two. So we'll get to show you how to take those out as well. <laughs> 